What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going through some more comic books, and today I'm going to be going through the West Coast Avengers. These comics here I have yet to go through, so all of these are new to me. I don't know if they're in order, I don't know if there's any sets included, or if there's any valuable comics. So, I'm just going to go through them today. For this video, let's get right into it. There is about 50 comics, so let's just get started here. Up first is going to be... Issue 53, which it honestly looks like there's a lot going on with this comic, so I don't even know where to start, but that does look very, very interesting. Next up, we have issue 57, so a little bit of a jump. They're obviously not in order, but this one does have Magneto on the cover, which I don't have too many covers or comics that have Magneto in them other than obviously X-Men, so this one here might be something that stays my personal collection. Next, we have issue 58, which I don't know what's going on here, but you have Iron Man, a couple others. I'm not sure just by the heads who they are, but uh, that looks very cool. Not sure what's happening in this one. We have issue 59, the horror of Hydro Man. That is really, really cool. So definitely want to check out this one, possibly even read it. One thing I'll say about these ones, compared to any of the other comics that I purchased in the last lot, the 4,000 lots, is these bags are great, but the boards are really cheap. It's almost like they just put a sheet of paper in there, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, but we do have issue 60 with Magneto right front and center, which looks really cool. I might actually keep that one rather than the other one that I mentioned. We have issue 63, which looks like we have Iceman versus Human Torch. Um, no, it's Human Torch versus Living Lightning. Not familiar with that, but it did look like Iceman or um, Silver Surfer, so kind of looked the same to me at first. Issue 64, guest starring Captain America, which is awesome. Looks really cool. We do have issue 66. Ultron 13, that's really cool. I don't think I've seen uh, Ultron in any of the other comics that I've come across, so that might be something I keep for myself. Issue 67, this is part three. Uh, so I don't have part one of the Reaper and the Robot, but we have part two, which was the last one, and this one here is part three. We do have issue 71. It's really, really cool. Love the artwork. Do you have issue 72? These two, uh, 72 and 73 are sticking together, but here's 72. Looks really cool. And here is 73. I'm not sure what these creatures are in the back, but that looks really cool. This one here looks awesome as well. 74, all of the uh, West Coast Avengers running. That scene just looks amazing to me. I don't know what you guys think. We have 75, which does have the thing on it. And in a way, it kind of looks like, it's hard to tell. It kind of looks like they're all facing each other. Can't really tell on that, but that does look cool. We have 76. Not sure what's happening, but we have a noose front and center, so. That could be a very interesting comic. I don't know if they, uh, some of the heroes are potentially being hung for something, but that is really cool. We have 77. Uh, this is part two of four. Let's see if we have a complete set of this. 78, uh, part three of four. And this one has Doctor Strange in it, which I absolutely love Doctor Strange. Number 79, this is a complete set, the conclusion. Which again, I absolutely love Doctor Strange. I don't have too many of his comics, let alone ones where he does cameos. So this one here might have to stay in my personal collection. We do have issue 80, which is part two of the Operation Galactic Storm. Now this set here is something I'm trying to, I already have one complete set in my personal collection, but I'm trying to get another complete set to be able to sell. So this one here is going to be saved for that set. The only ones I think I'm missing are likely going to be Iron Man ones because I don't think in the new lots I found any Iron Man. So I might have to try to find those myself. But also includes 81, which is part nine. 
which looks cool. And then 82, which is part 16 of Operation Galactic Storm. So hopefully soon, uh, the more I go through, hopefully I'll be able to complete these sets. Uh, which I think, there's 19 comics plus the uh, conclusion, which I think in total, there's 20 comics or so. It's around $100, so not worth too much, but decent amounts. Uh, issue 83. Issue 84 with Spider-Man guest starring, that's really cool. Issue 85, I don't know if we're going to get up to 100, that'd be really cool. I think I'm missing 100 for my personal collection. And if it's included in here, I'll show you guys why later. Uh, 86, at least these ones are a little bit more in order. 87. Wolverine on the cover, that was crazy. 88. It's getting a little newer. Nope, just 92. thought it was a lot newer than that by the uh, artwork. Ultron again, 89. This one here has just Ultron on the cover. This might be something that I keep for myself. Not entirely sure, but that does look cool. Issue 90. I can't really tell. It says Family Feud. I don't know what is really going on here. That looks really cool. We have 91. These are all in order as of right now, so the end of the pile is definitely in order. That's good for me. Uh, 92. Really cool. Love the artwork of these. 93. We are missing 94, so we're going to go to 95. I knew it was too good to be true to have a complete uh, long run. 96, getting close to the end here, 97, that's awesome, War Machine, that's sick, uh, 98, getting excited, hopefully 100's right here, 99, and there is no 100's, so Obviously the good comic, the one I'm obviously missing, is not included here. Because we go right to 101. Which looks crazy. You have Beast on the cover. Might have to keep this one for myself. I absolutely love Beast. And anything that I find that has Beast in it or on the cover, I usually keep. So, put that one off to the side. I'm definitely going to have to keep that one. We have... Yes! Uh, 102. West Coast Avengers Terminated. Gonna have to keep that one for myself because I'm not sure what is happening there. But these ended up just not being in order because I do have issue 100, which is the red foil cover, which is the complete. Uh, this completes the set that I have. This includes a bronze one, a gold one, a silver one, and the red foil cover. Now the other ones are just the Avengers. This one here is actually the West Coast Avengers. So. Definitely very interesting. This is definitely one that I needed to complete the whole sets. This set here, I can't remember what it's worth, but I know I do have some doubles of the other ones I'm missing. And this one here, I did purchase off my dad because he does buy and sell comics as well. I just have no idea uh, where that comic went. I don't know if I accidentally left it there. I don't know if I accidentally included it in a mystery box or I just grabbed it by mistake and put it in a box and sold it to somebody. I have no idea what happened to that comic. I just know I don't have it anywhere. So I'm glad that I actually was able to find it again in one of the lots that I did purchase. So hope you guys enjoyed this video going through the West Coast Avengers comics. I did get some very interesting comics and some that I might pick out for my personal collection. And I did get issue 100, which I was missing from my personal collection to complete the foil cover sets. So I'm really happy for that. So comment down below what you guys thought. Do you guys want to see more comic books videos in the future? I do have Ghost Rider, uh, Fantastic Four, and a bunch of other ones that I can do. So let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.